Hello, friends. What up? Welcome back to our fake podcast. I'm your host, Miley. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was really funny. <laughs> and I'm Eric. <laughs> Just because it's not a real podcast, I just thought it was funny that what I. What makes said it not a real podcast? Well, I don't actually like put it on a podcast platform. I just upload it as a normal video, like I would any video on YouTube, except we use these amazing microphones because I just like to hold them and talk into them. Cool. Yeah, you know how like we used to do sit down videos about random stuff. Basically, that's what this is. Yeah. Except we get to use fancy microphones and call it a podcast. Well, a fake podcast. Hmm. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Miley. If you're new here, we do lots of fun things on this channel. Lifestyle content, book videos, grocery hauls, shopping videos, theater content. That's my little spiel I'm going to start doing, by the way. Well, I already have started it, but do you think that describes our content well? Sure. Yeah. Do you think I'm forgetting anything? Nope. Okay. Well, welcome to our fake podcast. And today, what are we going to talk about, Scrimpy? Do you know the topic? These are also very, very unplanned. We just kind of... Eric and I are so different that we just kind of get going and things happen, you know? So do you know what the topic is? <laughs> uh, also, I'm very hyper because I've been reading Crescent City 3 and I am like so over the moon about it. Based on the last conversation we had, uh huh. it's around how rough the new year has started for us oh, and our right. plans for the year moving forward. Yeah. Did you forget? I kind of did, honestly. I had a couple different ideas about what we were going to film today, and I forgot what I landed on. So I'm glad for that reminder. And that's what you have to look forward to today. So before we get started, don't forget to smash it and like this video if you like our fake podcast. And let's just get on into it, shall we? Word. Just a fair warning. Our dogs will be guest stars. Can you hear Esme's literal tail flapping against this microphone right now she wants to be the star you want to say something to the folks here her head's probably cut out oh okay bye never mind so it is january 2024 the last day of january 2024 it's true and you know shout out jeff happy birthday oh yeah it's our buddy jeff's birthday i almost said it's our buddy jeff's happy birthday (laughs) happy birthday to our friend jeff um we which we will see tonight and tell him the same thing again so Normally, we do like some sort of New Year's resolution video or talk about goals or whatnot. There was none of that this year because our January was super freaking rough, if you didn't hear. Things went very wrong. You want to you wanna tell our viewers a little about it, Scrimpy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we went to go see your family for Christmas and yep. came back at the very end of December, went and did a New Year's Eve thing, and I was not feeling well day of, but it felt just kind of like... A ingestion cough, cold gunk that kind of stuff so powered through woke up the next day and i mean i went to bed we went home early i think i went to bed at like 10 45 on christmas eve which if you know eric is the literal red flag that something's wrong because he's the most social person ever and he would stay at any social activity we go out and do until 4 a.m. if I let him. So that was the first clue that something was not right because Eric wanted to go home on New Year's Eve before freaking midnight. Continue. So I went to bed at like 1045 on New Year's Eve and I did not get out of bed until like 730 in the evening on January 2nd because I just felt so terrible. I went to the urgent care clinic. They do a flu test, a strep test, and a COVID test. All come back negative crazy and he was so sick you guys like high fever pretty much out of it sleeping all day it was bad and in the wake of all of this i was starting a new job on january 4th oh yeah so uh i kind of gave a heads up during my onboarding of like i was at the point where i could talk but i had gotten a really bad cough at that point and so it just it, it kept snowballing he was on the struggle bus eventually uh went to My main doctor, he got me like three different prescriptions and... And um, he thought that you had RSV. Yeah, Yeah, he thought it might have been RSV. So, Eric was sick at the beginning of the year. I was on the airplane with you and I think on the airplane back home from New York, I got the flu because I was sick from January 1st to like January 7th. I had the flu and I actually did have the flu flu. I got diagnosed with the flu, but... Um, so we had something different, but we were both horribly sick. You got sick. Then I got sick. It was so, so bad. So the first couple weeks of January, complete blur. Okay. Complete blur. And then my mom and I decided to embark on 
a dream Disney World vacation, just she and I, for my 30th birthday because my birthday is January 19th. And it's been my mom's greatest dream to go on a Miley and Mom Disney vacation. And we finally made that a reality. And we got to Disney. We actually had something really sad happen the same day. Um, we had a death in the family the first day we got there. And we were like, oh, should we come home? Should we not come home? What should we do? It was kind of a situation where we couldn't do anything if we did come home. Then that same day, <laughs> my mom ended up getting super sick. We found out that through work, she was exposed to COVID. And she, the next day, tested positive for COVID. So we literally spent basically one hour in Magic Kingdom before everything went crazy and um, couldn't get a plane out that day. So we had to stay th that whole day and we left the next day. So we were in Disney a total of two and a half days and we did basically nothing. She was horribly sick. I mean, could not get out of bed, had a high, high, high fever. We were in freaking Disney World and we couldn't do anything. It was insane. The day we left, I started to feel bad. So we both got home. And by the time I got home, I was so sick. So what? It's so sick. And I ended up taking, I, I had taken two COVID tests that day, one in the morning and one in the evening. Both were negative. And I was like, there is no way. All of my symptoms are the exact same as my mom. How the heck do I not have this? I took it the next morning and it was positive. So it just took, you know, a long time to show up on a test, but I ended up getting COVID and I'd had COVID once before, but this time was so much worse. I mean, I was sick as a dog for probably seven solid days in, the in bed, like did not shower, barely was awake, like slept all the time. I'm still like, it's two weeks removed now. And I still like, you can probably hear I'm congested still. I get really tired. I'm still having lingering symptoms. Thankfully, I've tested negative, but it just was a hell of a month. And what made it worse is right as soon as I was getting better, I had rehearsals for a show that I'm in to yeah. start. And the first like week and a half, I was going masked because I still had a cough. Then you got back with COVID, but obviously I'm, I need to go to rehearsal every night you have COVID, so you were basically quarantined to the bedroom. And I, I had to sleep on the couch. I like, did not leave the bedroom for eight days? Yeah. Eight days. And basically didn't see anyone. Like, Eric would come in to help me when I needed help, but I always masked. Like, he stayed as far away as he could. Like, yep. And you never ended up getting it. That was a miracle. But, yep. oh, man, you guys. January was so rough. Rough. So rough. So... Fingers crossed that the rest February of, <laughs> yeah, just, I was going to say the rest of the year, but you're right. Let's go with February. <laughs> let's just hope February's better. Okay. So <laughs> that's our rough start to the year. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sticking in there with us. If you're a subscriber, um, because I'm usually so, so precise with my upload schedule. I never miss videos, but I missed a couple videos this month just simply because I, I couldn't do it. I was so sick. So and that's your reminder. If you're not a subscriber to subscribe, please. Smash it. Let's talk about some happier things. We've got some goals for the year and um, mostly just surrounding like our schedule. I mean, we've got so many things going on. So maybe we should talk about our schedule for the rest of the year. Travel wise trips coming up, things they can be looking forward to seeing on our channel. Sure. And then we'll end it with talking about some goals. Okay. We've got some... Um, weight specific goals I want to talk about. So stay tuned to the end to hear about that juicy information. But um, we basically have travel plans between the two of us every single month, right? Are Just you, a quick overview. Are you going February, in February? I may. I have a tentative work trip in February I may be going to New York for. It's dependent on me being able to get some meetings, but I may be going to New York in February. In March... I'm going to DC at the beginning of the month and I'm going to Dallas at the end of the month. Are you going anywhere in March? Nope. <laughs> I've got a... Barring any work trips that come up. Yeah. I've got a work advocacy event at the Capitol in DC, which will be so fun and crazy. And a work event in Dallas, a 5K run walk um, at the end of the month. So March is going to be crazy for me. April, we've got... I have a convention that I go to every year. 
um, uh, that I run games at and things like that. So I have that at the beginning of the month. And, and I'm going to go with go, you. Yeah. yeah. So that's in Dallas. Do we have anything at the end of April? Not that I can think of. No. And then May, my mom and I have officially rebooked our Disney trip. We're going to go back and make up for the lost time. So that's May. Are you going anywhere in May? You may have a work trip in May. Maybe. In Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, and then June. Oh, tell them about June, Scrimpy. What are you going to do? My birthday's in June. And so Miley has scheduled a trip for us down to Dallas to go to a concert. Uh, we're going to the Noah Khan concert down there, so that'll be fun. We're so excited. I surprised Scrimpy with that the other day. Mm-hmm. I, like, love planning his birthday probably more than I like planning my own. Well, probably not more than I like planning my own, but just as much. And I told him, I was like, I just planned a surprise for you for your birthday, but I really want to tell you because it's January and it's not till June and I don't want to keep it in. So can I tell you? <laughs> I always like to ruin surprises for you because I don't like to keep it in. So we're mm-hmm. going to the Noah Khan concert. We're so excited. Eric loves Noah Khan yeah. and got me into him too. I really like his music as well. So we're going to do that in June, July. In June, yeah. Do we have anything in July? Not that I can think of. Probably in July and definitely in August, we will be going to Boston. I will, I will probably just go in July to stay with Tatum for maybe a week or so. And then um, August will both go because Tatum has officially... I guess I can say this. There aren't that many people that are going to watch this, so I'm just going to say it. Tatum got her official contract for the Broadway show. She's in the workshop of. um, She's done two workshops now, both in New York. And the next phase of this Broadway show in development is to do their out-of-town open, and it's in Boston. So she got her contract for that. They're going, I think she goes to Boston in July, and then the shows are middle of August. So I'm so excited for that. We're going to be going to Boston and I just want to go to Boston so bad because I've wanted to go there for a long time. So, yep. Then in September, September, October, it I'm not going been, anywhere. It hasn't been booked yet. Um, but last year, me and a friend of the channel, viewer of the channel, Colin, what up, Colin? Shout out to Colin. Um, we had a trip planned to Universal Studios down in Orlando. And uh, life happened. We weren't able to make the trip work. Uh, but we're going to rebook it for this year so for exciting. Halloween Horror Nights. So that's very exciting. And that's something I have zero interest in going to. So don't feel bad for me that I'm not going because it was my decision. <laughs> it was my choice. <laughs> so Colin gets to be the Miley substitute on this trip and mm-hmm. go to Halloween Horror Nights because he will be such a better companion for Eric <laughs> than me in that. I freaking hate haunted houses. So that's September slash October. And then we have November, December. So we'll be going to New York in there somewhere, maybe for Thanksgiving this yep. year, maybe after Christmas this year, maybe both. I don't know. And um, the year's freaking over. So good Crazy. Lord, that's a lot of plans. And I honestly will probably have another work trip thrown in there somewhere because probably in June because they're planning a retreat. Yeah. And my work does quarterly work trips also. So I'll have some stuff in there. So I'm tired. Are you tired just listing all that yeah. crap out? I'm, I'm actually, if I wasn't in a play right now, I would be in Philadelphia right now traveling. That's true. You're missing a work trip right, right now. now. Anyway, so it's going to be a crazy wild year for us. There's lots of things on the docket. We'll take you along for some of them, the more exciting things. And um, I'm really excited for our year. I think it's going to be busy, but lots and lots of fun. Yep. Since it is still January, and I guess New Year's resolutions can still be made in January. I mean, they can be made whenever you want them to be made. Just a resolution. And I, I'm not even going to call this a resolution because it's not. It's just kind of a thought I've been having um, about life and what I want to focus on. And I guess you could call it a goal, but it's not really even a goal. I don't know. It's an, How would you phrase? Well, you don't know what I'm about to say, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Do you have any goals? <laughs> if only there were a word for something that you intend to do to kick off the new year that you're resolving to do for yourself. Uh, um, it's more of like what I'm not going to do. Well, yeah. So, I mean, lots of people have like quit smoking this year. Is That's true. Okay. What's your, do you have any goals? Yeah. Any um, things you're striving for? I mean, the biggest thing for me is consistency. I would like to become a bit more consistent in a lot of things because like I've started now that I'm on the mend and feeling better. I've started lifting weights again and riding the Peloton 
uh, and being a bit more intentional about, you know, what I'm eating and things like that. And so just trying to be a bit more consistent in how I'm approaching all of that kind of stuff. You're typically pretty consistent with working out. I feel like you just kind of took a pause for the holiday and then it got extended because you got sick. But normally you're really consistent about lifting well, weights. Well, I, I kind of fell off the wagon once Hunchback stuff really kicked That's in because true. we got so busy with that. And then Hunchback wrapped in, well, late September into October. Yeah. And then, then we hit the holidays and everything. So, so. <laughs> and then like kind of the things I would like to stop still fall under that umbrella of consistency because I'll like, at like 1030 at night, I'll just be more bored than anything else. Go get a little snack. And I'll, I'll go to the kitchen <laughs> and eat something because, you know, what else is there to do? You can come talk to me. Just kidding. Um, I'm asleep. And additionally, like I will go down like rabbit holes at my computer of like just idling the time away instead of being intentional about what I'm working on. And there's something to be said about having downtime and things like that. But when the idle downtime outweighs Mm -hmm. everything else, that kind of starts to create an imbalance. So, so yeah, my big thing is, is consistency and then being just a bit more intentional about how I use my time. So, yeah. Nice. What about you? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Oh, that was funny. Skimpy. Um, Okay, so the big thing I've kind of been thinking through in terms of goals, if you will, and I'm doing that because I just want to be really careful about how I'm framing it in my brain because I have OCD and I tend to get obsessive about things and make myself feel bad if I don't meet a goal or stay on track how I want to be. And that's kind of what I'm trying to move away from this year is putting certain expectations on myself to look a certain way or weigh a certain number obsess over how I look. I'm just trying to kind of forget about all that and live life as a human, do the things that make me happy, invest my time in hobbies and interests, just spend my time thinking about the things that are much more important and interesting about myself than what I look like. Like I just want to get to a point where I don't care that much. And I saw a video from one of the amazing Disney YouTubers we follow. Molly is her name. She's freaking amazing. And she posted a video at the beginning of the year saying basically something along the lines of, please don't make your New Year's resolutions about your body. Please just don't make your resolutions about how much you want to lose or how you only want to eat healthy and want to exercise every day. Like there are so many more things that are so much more interesting about you than what you look like or what you weigh. And that really, really resonated with me because, you know, we did Hunchback and for the first time in a really long time, I mean like years and years and years and years, probably since I can remember, I had something that I could focus on that took away my thoughts about what I looked like. Like pretty much completely. Like I used to never go a day without thinking and obsessing really about what I looked like, but we did Hunchback and I just threw my entire self into that so much so that everything else kind of fell by the wayside. And some of those things weren't as positive, but some were really great and obsessing over my body and how I look kind of went away for that little time period. And that felt really freeing. And I'm just excited to kind of continue that mindset. And I don't know, I'm not articulating this super amazingly, but I'm just going to be focusing this year on things that make me happy. And like without sounding super conceited, like I'm going to be focusing on me this year and doing things that make me happy, probably getting into some therapy to address some issues Um, (laughs) and just like prioritizing myself and my mental well-being and health and not really caring about what I look like or what I'm eating or how many times I'm exercising. Now, that being said, I feel better energy level wise and life living wise when I go on walks outside. Like that's something now that the weather's finally getting a little better that I'm excited to keep doing. We love going on walks together. That to me yeah, it's exercise, but it's not exercise. It's really just for my mental health, really. Mm -hmm. And I feel good when I eat yummy food that's good for me, but I also feel good when I eat cookies. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to find the balance in that and just kind of forget about it and not obsess over it. And 
Um, I made Eric hide my scale. I don't know where it is in the house. I haven't weighed myself in a long time. Well, I, a long time for me. It's like been a month really. Yeah. But um, from someone who used to step on the scale like 12 times a day, that's a lot. Um, a month is a really long time. So I'm kind of just enjoying this mindset shift that I'm taking. And I feel really good about myself for prioritizing my well-being in things that don't have to do with yeah. my weight or health or whatever. So probably won't find me making any sort of health journey videos this year <laughs> anything like that because i'm just focusing on other things maybe some mental health journey videos. yeah maybe we'll see but that's my big goal is just it's the year of me you mentioning going the therapy potentially reminded me of a funny tiktok that i saw where it was like everything reminds eric of a funny tiktok 2018 2019 it was the common thing that boyfriends and husbands would say to their wives were like i just feel like crap today it's like have you drink water yeah. Have you drink water? Yeah. And now with the explosion of Stanley Cups, that's no longer a problem. <laughs> so now it's, I don't feel good. Have you tried going to therapy? That's like. so <laughs> funny. And I just have to go on record by saying that who was the Stanley girl before Stanley blew up, Scrimpy? Are you claiming that you were ahead of the curve on Stanley? Yes. I'm not claiming. I'm stating it as fact because it's true. Do okay. you not agree with that? How many years have I had my Stanleys? At least three. Maybe more. Be- and you know why I was ahead of the curve? You know why. Because where did the Stanleys come from? Where? I don't understand. Who were the first influencers that started talking about Stanleys before they blew up that I was influenced by to buy the Stanleys? One of your Mormons? Yep, the Mormons. The Mormons started the Stanley craze. And I love the Mormon vloggers and I obsessively watch them. And that's how I learned about Stanley like three years ago before everybody else. Mic drop. Oh, I can actually mic drop this. Don't drop the microphone. Okay, I won't. Sorry. (laughs) Like I said, I have been reading Crescent City 3, which I've just been anticipating for basically a year now. And I am super hyped today. Like it's gotten me so hyped. What? So let's get out of this podcast so you can go back to reading it. Okay, great idea. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know any comments you have for us down in the comments below. I don't even know what you would comment, but what your goals for the year are. (coughs) I still have a residual COVID cough. All right. Well, um, thanks for coming to our fake podcast and, uh, smash it like, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Smash it. Bye. Smash it. Smash it. Goodbye. Smash it. (laughs)